All right, YouTube, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 79, All About Devils, uh, by Moses Hull. Now, uh, strangely enough, Moses Hull was a fairly well-regarded and popular Adventist minister uh, back in the 1800s until he lost faith uh, because he was praying and he never got any answer. And then he started actually reading his Bible in a critical manner realized that Satan often tricked God, seemed to uh, win uh, in bets, for instance, in the book of Job and so forth, uh, is inerrantly correct any time he makes a statement, and predominantly appears to have been interested insofar as the Christians were interpreting Genesis and giving wisdom to mankind, he became a spiritualist, sort of the Victorian era, general mystics and occultists of the era. He converted to the occult, uh, he forsook the Christian God as evil, which is to his benefit. Uh, the Adventists appear to still be a little bit cut up about this whole thing, but uh, he did did some good stuff. And then he wrote a book simply entitled All About Devils. Uh, so link in the description to where you can purchase my edition of this work off of Amazon. A second link to my books blog. There's a lot of other material on demonology in general there. Uh, this work is one part demonology in a general sense, in, in oddly enough a biblical sense, only with an inverted meaning. One part demonolatry, in a way, because he's praising uh, Satan as the better of God. Uh, and one part sort of historical biblical work, insofar as he's stating in here correctly. Uh, for instance, what I stated uh, some years ago, actually, on the topic, which is that the concept of hell or Satan is woefully confused. Now, the term Lucifer, for example, has nothing to do with Satan. Uh, the Jews did not have a central Satan figure. They simply had the idea of the devil as sort of a mischievous imp or as a, a, the, generally the spirit of sin or of evil in a, to be an error in general. Uh, hell being informed by Tartarus and Gehenna and all of these other sort of words and terms. <clears throat> And so it's quite an enlightening work. It's actually this, it's sort of like the Paradise Lost sort of romanticist uh, material regarding Satan that you would generally think of. Uh, seeing him as a heroic character, as one that is not simply a one-dimensional sort of prince of darkness, but something more than that, and including within the biblical account itself, if taken at face value. Uh, Satan in Genesis, if you're identifying the serpent as Satan at all, uh, primarily manages to fool God, give wisdom to mankind, freeing them of slavery, proceeds to trick God in regards to Job, shows that, that God, in fact, was wrong, uh, and that Satan was correct, and that Job would curse the name of God if he was tormented enough, uh, and so forth. It, it's sort of the, if you were to look at the semblance of Satan that's generally proposed by Satanists, whether as a metaphor or a real being, this is essentially what you get. This could be seen as a very early demonolatrist sort of tract, uh, or a very early Luciferian tract at the very least. It's extremely interesting. It's rather short. It's only 44 pages long, uh, but you're getting quite a bit of history there too. For instance, how the church uh, declared that steamships were heretical. Uh, of course, Galileo is obviously mentioned. The idea of the, the milling system, automated milling, sawmills, uh, and so forth. The idea that the church uh, then uh, proceeded in many cases to take credit for philosophical and technological advances that were made by people that the church at the time uh, labeled heretics, heathens, pagans, witches in many cases. And he's right. He then predicts, by the way, and he was correct, so I have to assume he's a little bit prophetic when he predicts this, but he predicted that the cur then current advancements in society, like the suffragette movement and things like that, uh, which were condemned by most clergy at the time, would come to be not only accepted by these churches, but that these churches would then trump up their intrinsic role in pushing them, which they indeed did in regards to suffrage. Uh, they did this in regards to the end of segregation, which for so long they propped up. He mentioned slavery, the debate over slavery, and how they did the same thing. And he was correct. He was completely and utterly correct in his uh, reading of what the church would do uh, with some of the social and, and technological movements uh, of his time period. So he gets credit for that. So if you want a very interesting work, it's part historical, part just Satan in general, uh, definitely recommended reading. <clears throat> Again, 
You can purchase my edition of this work off of Amazon. Yes, it's the cheapest. Yes, the cover is the most attractive. Uh, second link to my book's blog, where you can obtain other materials of, of a generally similar nature. Uh, demoniality comes to mind, uh, specifically. And that's about all. Peace out.